Hey there, what's going on? I'm Andy, I'm a self-taught programmer, and in this video, what I'm gonna talk about today is the absolute worst habit that you can pick up as a new software developer, as somebody who's trying to change careers into this field, and I've seen it over and over and over again with people who I mentor one-on-one, -on -one, with people who reach out to me in social media and complain that they're not really figuring this out on their own. So I'm gonna break that down for you today and how to overcome it. Now, if you're new here, if you have no idea who I am, I'm Andy Sterkowitz, I'm a self-taught software developer, and I mentor one-on-one -on -one, everyday people who are looking to make this career change. So I really focus on how to cultivate the skills necessary for this, as well as strategies to land that first job. So if you're interested in content like this, I highly recommend hitting the subscribe button below, but also make sure to hit that bell icon to get notifications anytime I put out a new video. Now with that being said, so let me be very clear here. So what is that number one issue? What is the problem that most people have when they're getting into this that will take them out of it, right? So they'll make them wanna quit or make them flounder around for years trying to figure out how to code and never actually making any progress. And that is the this whole concept of bouncing around, never finishing anything is probably the best way to say it. They never actually complete things, they never finish. And what I see in this, what I mean is this is how it's actually implemented is you'll see a lot of people who start tutorials, they start to learn a simple programming language, maybe something like JavaScript, or maybe it's not a programming language, maybe it's HTML and CSS, maybe it's SQL, and they never quite finish a project with it, they never complete what they were set out to do. Finishing a tutorial is great, but that's not building your own project. Once you finish a tutorial, you actually have to build something with it. And that's where most people can't do it because let's say you learn JavaScript, HTML, and CSS. You go to build your first project. Maybe it's something like a calculator app or it's a to-do app. And you hit a point where things get hard and they will get hard and it gets hard because you bump up against what you don't know, right? Like there's some concept you don't know or there's some problem solving skill you don't know. And so when you bump up against that, there's either one or two things that are gonna happen. Either number one is you're gonna be patient. You're gonna sit there and say, okay, I don't know something, but I'm gonna sleep on it. I'm gonna come back tomorrow and try to figure it out and just keep repeating that process, which by the way is very, very boring because you keep coming back and looking at the code and just, nothing's working and eventually you get a breakthrough. Or you can do the fun thing, the more stimulating thing, which is you get to a certain point with your calculator app, you can't figure it out and you go, ah, oh, you know what? I'll switch to something else. I'll switch to a new cool app, a new tutorial, and I'll come back to that later. Right? And then you go to the new, maybe you're doing a to-do app at this point, and you start working on the to-do app, and guess what happens? You eventually hit your limit, something you don't know. And you try to reach out for answers, nothing makes sense, two or three days go by, maybe a week, all of a sudden you're not like, you know what, it was the app. I'll, I'll come back and finish this later, and that process repeats itself. And maybe you get so bored with working with JavaScript, HTML, and CSS that you go to Python, and you start learning a little bit of Python, and then you build a project with it, you get bored with that, and then you just keep repeating this over and over and over again. And what happens is you have like a graveyard on GitHub of half-completed projects. You yourself are losing confidence because you yourself know that you're not finishing things. And you talk about imposter syndrome, like you're never gonna apply for a job because how can you apply for a job when you have no completed projects? This cycle is, really bad. This is going to be the thing that makes you feel like there's something wrong with you. When really what it is, it's about finishing. Finishing projects. Finishing projects is the least sexy thing that I could think of. Like what it really is, like when you when you, to finish a project is not about, you know, learning a programming language and then just be like you're coding all day and then it just magically it's done. What typically happens is the first 90% of a project is very, very easy, it's stuff you know, you know how to breeze through it, but that last 10% is where things get very, very hard. And there's a, a joke that we used to say, the last 10% of any project takes 90% of the time. And that's usually the way it goes. You start trying to, you work on something, you get to a point where you basically don't know what you should be doing, and then that's where you have to calm down, be patient, and just figure out what the next step is, what the problem is you're trying to solve, and then break that down into small chunks. This is where things get hard. This is where grit comes into play. There's no substitute for just being able to finish things. Sometimes, by the way, you can work on a simple project and it feels like you're making no progress, and all of a sudden you have a breakthrough. So one of the things I tell people when they are struggling to finish projects, when they feel like they have this project that should they should have finished two weeks ago, but things aren't working well, I say, look, However long this is gonna take, that's how long it's gonna take. For you, at the current skill level that you're at, you just have to accept that it's gonna take you another week, it's gonna take you another two weeks, but you need to redouble down, or double down, you know, re, re, uh, reinforce your efforts here to get this thing done. There's no other thing that you're gonna 
there's no other way that you're going to be able to overcome this through then through concentration, then through really sitting down and figuring out, okay, this is where I'm at. How, what any more information do I need to know? Do I need to Google something? I, th I find that when most people are stuck with this, when they're stuck with a project, they want to rush through the end. Like completion to them is so, so important because they need to get on to the next thing. I can only tell you from my experience, like it's been so long since I learned how to code, I forget what this is like. I can only see it through other people, but I'm learning piano right now. I'm just doing it as a side hobby, very, very casually, maybe 30 minutes a day. But I will tell you, I've noticed this with myself when I'm getting into to, um, uh, learning how to play piano. I'm simply choosing a couple songs that I wanna play. They're from my favorite movies. And I've just picked one song that I wanted to play. Well, guess what? I got to a certain point in that song that I can play it the first, I say the first quarter of that song and it's very easy i can play it i can play it for you right now if i really wanted to however i butt up against that next part which that next part has some tricky like configurations with your your hands have to be on the left side of the keyboard the other hand has to be on the right and your fingers have to do certain things and i'm stuck on that so guess what i'm doing every day when i sit down at the keyboard i'm playing that thing that i don't know it's just a struggle like every time i sit down at the piano i'm like oh boy it's, there's not really gonna be make much progress made here but once I get that next section of the song done, then all of a sudden I can play half the song. And that's all I really focus on. So on a day-to-day -day basis, the practice is super boring. Like if you saw me there, you'd be like, this is super boring. I'm playing the same part over and over again. I'm just trying to play one transition. And that's pretty much how coding works. You're gonna be sitting down a lot of days, you're gonna be working the same thing for like three or four days, nothing's gonna make sense. And all of a sudden on the fifth day, breakthrough occurs. That's how it goes. They say you live, you're, you have to live on the plateau. It's from my, one of my favorite books, Mastery by George Leonard, but you have to live on the plateau, plateau, learn to love living on the plateau, breakthroughs happen from time to time, and all of a sudden you look back a year, months, weeks, or even weeks, right? And you see that progress and growth has occurred. So really the only way around this is to just focus on finishing, always finish. When you get the temptation to do something else, say, no, I'm gonna finish this. If you're having trouble, reach out to mentors, get a mentor, do whatever you can, to get this thing done. So I hope this video helps you to overcome it, this problem that you may be having or this urge you have to just move on to the next project, finish things. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. By the way, if you are looking for paid mentorship, if you want to work with me one-on-one -on -one to get this area of your life handled, to make this transition into a new career as a software developer, to do something you love, I have a mentorship program that you can join and work with me one-on-one -on -one to do that. If you are interested in that, I would highly recommend booking a free career strategy session. During that strategy session, we're gonna focus on a couple different things. Number one, I really wanna to get to the bottom of what your current obstacles are. We're gonna cover that, go deep on that. From there, I'm going to talk to you about your goals. I wanna figure out where you wanna do. And then at the end of the call, if the program is a good fit, we can talk about what your program looks like. So I'd highly recommend booking a call. If you're interested in that, I will leave a link in the description below, which we can book a call. Other than that, thank you so much for watching, guys. Have a good one. Peace out.